What's up guys, this is The Road from I am back, bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So the round of where we left off, now the bulk of the effort we spent in the last part was actually fighting up near St. Petersburg, where the Russians are beginning to throw stack after stack after stack of troops against us, which is pretty much what we expected. So our troops are all here, waiting to resupply, so there's a stack coming in from the west, or from the east, sorry, and there's a stagment coming in, there's a stack that's been holding up in this port for a while, and a couple of fragments wandering around. We also have captured Riga, which hopefully is being replenished. It is. Good. So that will act as a bulwark against our white right flank. And then we also have many, many armies here uh, in Sweden. And they're going to be slowly moving around to hit Finland. Or at least um, one of them will be. A couple will probably be taking up positions here. Then maybe um, assaulting... I don't know. Do I want to send, send... Yeah, I think I'll send them all over to take Finland, then I'll send them down and start exploiting areas such down here in Vilnius and driving towards Moscow. Elsewhere, though, things seem to be okay. Things seem to be progressing nicely. I'm pretty sure I've done everything that needs to be done. I suppose one thing, one thing I might do is... Can I recruit any cool armies in Mexico? Because I'm pretty sure I've looked at, or I've used the majority of the uh, the cool, unique units for Mexico. Ah, uh, no, we do have a Prussian army here. Ah, because they did a sneaky little manoeuvre, didn't they? That's what they did. So have them chase them. This army's up here right, waiting to launch an attack on Moose Factory. This one's moving up to the same position. Good, let's do a bit of upgrading here. Excellent. My rake is not doing anything really. And I have an army over here in the Americas waiting for transport. So do I have any handy dandy cheap ports, cheap fleets? And I do. So let's bring, let's bring all of them over. Let's deploy them onto the ships. And then let's ship them over to Europe to help support the Great Russian and Mexican War. Good, let's upgrade the Pleasure Gardens. Probably doesn't need to be a Pleasure Gardens, but hey, things seem to be going okay. All being replenished. The tech seems to be going okay. To be honest, we've not got super far to go. So let's hit enter. The spies at the Epsom Moose Factory is ripe for an assault. Great Britain continuing its yearly tradition of patrolling the Irish Sea with a stack of troops. It's funny the Austrians and the Prussians have actually declared on each other. So, or at least I remember, I vaguely recall them declaring on each other. That's a, that's a mighty confluence of Austrian troops there. Hopefully they will drive and take Brussels, to be honest. Um, I don't think the conflict between these two, we're not going to be that worried about who wins. Um... Because I've got a feeling the campaign is probably going to end sooner rather than later. And we have more territories to go, but probably only about five or six, maybe. Oh, I forgot to check on the Black Mountains. The Black Mountains? Well, the Prussians seem to be responding. Um, but yeah, I how if the... Or is, it the is it the Plains Nations? Yankton? I think it's Pl Yankton. You know, the most westerly Native American... Um, region, check how they're doing, then I can send my army northwards and hit Churchill. And really secure the rest of the the continental United States. Hmm, so they're hoping to come cause some trouble with me religiously. All the Swedish and Russian gentlemen are fleeing because obviously I've destroyed the university. I don't know, maybe they're going to go scavenge Scavenge some books. There is unused Alliance broken, Austria and Russia, perfect. Building. Yeah, let's upgrade this farmland. Let's upgrade the barracks. Let's upgrade this to a... Do we need a military port? No, a steam dry goods. Have a fishing fishing port. That, that seems fluffy, I think, to me. Let's keep them moving around. Got the coaching in. So you have a look. Yeah. 
quite strongly fortified by the Swedes. So you stay in port until this army has managed to work its way around, and then I'll land one of these over to join them. Maybe two, if I can expand this out to be a bit more of a garrison, so I'll probably recruit a general. And then add on some mortars, although maybe it might just be £12 now. It says, just in case uh, the Swedes try an amphibious assault, just in case. Prussians are still massing up in this region, and that is fine by me. I'm tempted to send one of, to drive one of these guys out because now there's a gap. There's a gap, and we have a good garrison of troops. Are you resupplying people? Well, you definitely want to get some two four-inch mortar batteries and. Ooh, 32 pounder there you go. You can so this this can focus on counter battery. That'll be a nice garrison. I'm not sure what those are going for. Are they garrison as well? But as there's a space, I'm tempted to move these guys out and scout towards Moscow. See what they find. Fleet has arrived. Oh, bloody quick. Ooh, unless that was another fleet. Ooh, frame rate drop. You want to sort yourself out. Okay, so I can't get them all the way here. But I can get them to take refuge in. Can they come all the way up to Bergen? No, they cannot. So in which case then... They're quite vulnerable. Um, let's have them join. Oh god, they're all a bunch of Indian men. I thought they were an actual fleet. Okay, so let's assume... Okay, so I can send this navy over here to come protect them. They can't join, but they can be nearby. Like I said, this blockading fleet to sit here on the strait to protect Copenhagen. Although I might be asking to get chopped up by this Swedish force, but although that looks pretty weak as it is. Let's hop over to the Americas. Big drop there. So you march. Probably going to water resolve that fight. Yeah, that wouldn't have been anything. Successful win for us. Let's repair and replenish. And let's check that there's no destruction. There you go. We're ready to rock and roll. Uh, school. Historical building, uh, industrial building, industrial building. Let's upgrade that may as well. It's over here. Inland. Not Santa Fe, Yankton in the Black Hills. Can this be repaired? And can you now we'll leave? Oh, so close. Handful of turns. is not liking moving around the map at the minute. Curious. Very curious. Okie dokie. Let's bring those out of the capital. Let's, get, let's group some, some forces together so I can drop these guys inside. Spot on. Research going fine. Not bothered about carbines, but they're a, they're not a, they're not a top level university, and they don't have any gentlemen, so may as well get some use out of them. Good. So we're ready. On. And to be honest, that swoop on both of their seas will um, knock them out of the game. So is that the Mar Marathas that have landed against the Austrians? So not the Austrians, the Russians. If you look at the the campaign map. 
there's an awful lot of territory down here. Which makes me wonder, have they, have they given it away? Or have they lost it to the Maratha Confederacy? Because that could be quite an interesting one. Hmm. So I've not really seen the AI do that. To be honest, some, seen, some people say they've seen the um, Indian factions drive through Persia and enter Europe, and I've never seen that. And I've played, you know, 700, 800 odd hours of this game, and I've never ever seen them do that. Although, no, my luck now, next campaign will be the first thing that happens. Still, it's been a good campaign, but once we've taken. Once we took Portugal amount of time. Ha! Ah, Prussian stupid German spy. Um, yeah, once we took Prussia, uh, put Portugal, and then we took for that period, it allowed us to get our naval techs up, and at that point, because we got the naval techs that we couldn't get, access to these naval techs that we couldn't normally get. Ah, the Russians are back. So they've seen one of my stacks leave the region, and they've all gone, aha! Now is the time. Here comes the Russians. And then the Swedes are following. They're going to have one hyper-efficient hyper little school. Select the type of Ernst and Nikolai has been Washington executed. Will help your population grow. A trade port Guadalupe. will provide... Yeah, let's upgrade the port. So I think the next move... Declare war. Don't call in my allies because it doesn't really matter. Maintain for now. And then let's send these guys in. They've not fully replenished, but I can't tell who's. A more tuned in my general. Ooh. Intercepted. So we're attacking this army with a reinforcing garrison. I'm more than happy to do that. Let's crack on. But you have. Lots and lots of Native American warriors, but they're all depleted. Bows depleted, and they only got a militia unit. A couple of units of medicine men up here, but nothing really to worry about. And we have uh, superiors that are very, very devastating because you can only really pick away at them with the opening, with the uh, the front rank of your your army. But once you can, we start having fire by rank and more advanced, a lot harder for them to actually be uh, competitive at the end. But let's see. Enforcements may not come in at all. Aha! We've been ambushed, haven't we? So these men form a quick line. Okay. Yeah, this is a this is a artillery unit, and this is a, this is a howitzer unit. So let's get them behind the line. There's my other howitzer unit. Let's get them out of the way. Let's get this artillery up on this ridge. My gorillas out here. On this flank. Here we go. It's doing some interesting little lag spikes here, actually. I don't quite know what it is. Medicine men can be very effective. Um, however, 
good old line unit's pretty darn effective too. Particularly if you start to get some... Oh, a Fusileros. I don't want any Fusileros in. Hold them in. So you start picking at guys at range. Whoa! Do they get charged by a Lancer unit? Bodyguard. To be honest, pull this artillery back. pushing okay I'm actually going to ex experiment with what on earth is going on so just one sec guys because I'm getting these weird lag spikes let's see if that's done the trick I had chrome open oh excellent quick climb shot there it's got one unit routing let's limber up this unit They had silly fire rank on. So this rank could fall. Generals died. So let's get ready to start pulling troops out. Sadly, they will forever be at risk. Then let's start bringing my rest of my superior firepower to bear. Right when I've started saying Native American factions aren't that bad, aren't that, e aren't that easy. <laughs> Look what's gone and happened. Yeah, they're going to get hit. You might have to limber out there, you might have to limber out there. And just try to get some canister shots off. Do a bit of a flank switcheroo. So you have some very experienced melee troops. Let's pull them out. American warriors against marines. I fancy the marines' chances. Though to be honest, I might get swamped completely because I'm not committed to you know fighting is a, in a massive infantry block. Because these guys are going to get chewed up. Fusileros are going to get chewed up.
Chiefs and Bunny, you know? To be honest, I think this is going to be a loss. I didn't get a chance to set up my battle line and they just want me. Let's you back. You engage the Native American warriors. Let's fall back my marines. They stay there as a tempting target. Ultimately, I want to keep my elite units. Eh, I don't accept this as a loss. Native American warriors versus marines. I do like the marines' odds. Because the marines are just goddamn awesome. But if we do this, at least some of my units will escape. And then let's speed up time. Steady wavering. Oh, the marines may end up getting lost because it looks like they're going to be caught and they're going to be caught try pull them back Oof. what absolutely utterly oh oh god from that i thought they all they'd all spawned in front of my guys Phew, i'll take that defeat god that was good by the ai what's it they did quite a good job and then they managed to jump on my Jump on my lines before I chance to fully set up. So that's a good victory for them. However, it just means they are going to stretch on their losses. Stretch out their losses. So let's get some artillery in. Two units of, art two units of artillery. Maybe more. Maybe more howitzery things. With five units of infantry. So let's get. Not Fusileros. Let's do that. And then let's do this army, because I can probably move them out of this region. Yeah, move them up around to help fill the gap. Yeesh. Hispaniola. Take a major fishery. Okay, so prepare for the AI to try and attack St. Petersburg. But if they do, I feel mighty confident. Maybe another four inch mortar battery just to keep, you know, the rate of fire up. And this army, well, let's just keep them pushing on. And then if I got, I don't have a specific cavalry unit, which is good and good in some ways and bad in the others. I can scout on my general. Yeah, Moscow is ripe for the taking. And that's confirmed. Good. Let's hit and turn. The hero on all pay for this loss. Oh god, retreat. Oh, they can't retreat. <clears throat> hey, I didn't lose. Oh my god. Okay, I was expecting them to get chopped into bits, but we seem to have won. Which was money surprising. I didn't even, like, read the battle results. I was just so sure that it would be a loss. Oh well, I'll take that. Oh, the Austrians are... Oh, the, no, the, the Crimeans had attacked an Austrian fleet, I imagine. But maybe the Austrians will declare on me, because they might see me... Well, if they're going to the to the Americas, I'm their only opportunity for expansion. There's another fleet being prepared there. Maybe they will try a, a mass global expansion. Well, not if they lose to the Crimean Carnate. Good lads. Oh, they're moving on Amsterdam. They've gone straight past Cologne. Maybe they're counting on their garrison forces doing the job. In terms of pressure, I mean. Is Genoa pouncing on the Crimean? Uh, Barbary State. That's the Barbary States, that is, isn't it? Yes, it is. Is Genoa going to do an amphibious assault somewhere else? They are. Where are they going? Towards Greece? Ooh, maybe they might be going to hit Austria. Well, they must be. That entire... The Adriatic is Austria, generally. Unless they're going to go hit Venice specifically, because it looks like on the map, Venice might still be an independent kingdom. 
interesting nonetheless. Pressure's being pressure. Going in, in not actually. Oh no, I say that. Oh, really? That mustn't have been that single Prussian unit. It must have had some reinforcing. No, the single Austrian unit. Sorry, it must have had some reinforcing Austrian buddies because that was damn near a full stack. There's no way one unit pushed off a full stack. I don't care what it is. No. Shove off. That's my official position. So they're wandering off. One of them's chase. Ah, you're trying to chase down my Moscow force, eh? There's the school. We're going to burn it down, though. Sorry. Can't have you learning too many things, Sweden. We want to conquer your lands. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help the population to grow over time. Burn the school and, and then carry on. Fishing. Craft workshop. Let's bring you up and around. Theatre. Yeah, why not? Guns. Drydock in Bergen. Let's take all the ships that aren't in Diamond and send them. Get into no, 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 no! Don't sail. Oh, God, I didn't. They're all embarked on the Indiaman now, which is mildly annoying. All the Indian men just ship them out. Go to there. Embark them up. Okay, so let's check if they're in the galleon. No. Good, now they can all sail in. Sail into my port. Then they'll be disembarked. Then the army itself will head towards Vilnius. And then let's get this ship uh, back into port because it could just coax them out for an attack. Mortis being recruited. Ah, oh, so they're all going up towards to resupply this army. And I think now that means you, I think I think I can get you guys to leave. So you'll be angry. But if I remove your taxes, yes, finally, go on and hit up there. Even though there's absolutely no infrastructure in that direction. Spot on. Sweet, I think that's everything. Well, let's recruit another army. General's bodyguard, two Mexican House of Cavalry. Let's get some heavy horse artillery. Two heavy horse artillery. Two, three units, 30 pounders. And some marines. Good. The starting off of a very very elite force. Let's hit it. Turn. Ah, oh, I forgot to damn lay siege to Moscow. These things happen. Aha! We are defending against a sally from the Huron. So let's let's fight that. Because even though it's it's running over the edge of the, uh, it'd be nice to have a bit of a get a bit of my own back against the the region, against the the the, the faction.
Yep, I'm gonna pull a Patriot because there's nowhere nice for me to really set up. To be honest, there isn't really anywhere to deploy my other artillery unit without it being too silly. So I'm probably gonna want horse bikes. And then these two batteries just hold position here. Horse guard on one flank. Curiosiers on the other flank. Let's crack on. And these aren't going to hit squat. I oh, know they are, they have lobbed the shell. Do round shot just to lob a few rounds off before they get within range. It's Ten kills in the minute. Okay, now they're getting within range, so start lobbing off that tasty, tasty quick climb because that's what you want. That's your money maker right there. There you go, soon when they head over the ridge. Shrapnel shot. Let's deploy my cavalry. See, this is what should happen. Did make my line, but there's only 22 of them. Native American war unit should be pretty darn destroyed. Oh, you want to keep those bows, boys? my infantry and then to run down that unit of native warriors so my cavalry won't be killed running into the back of the spikes because they're friendly spikes they will fight on bravely but they will lose All of my artillery to keep it in the chief's bodyguard. Come on, Alaska. They are losing. Is these guys are too bold placed to chomp down other units. Let's go for them first because they're because they're quieter. Although I've got heavy horse, so they're gonna be absolutely knackered.
I mean, these guys aren't really here to, to like do like damage. These traps are here just to bait and to route. Chief's body got a fine to let her out. Absolutely want to continue. I don't know how many turns they've got left to go, but. Oh, just going to clip the corner on my men. Okay. Good. Little bit of payback. No, he's got away. Who's the last one? Him. There's one guy. My general's going to have the honour of mowing him down. Bash. Good. Whew. A bit of something back. <laughs> kind of, maybe. Ah, there's the end of Moose Factory. Well, there we go. We squished the Huron down to one region left. And it should be a simple enough job to turf them out of the last one. But then again, that's where it's out of the start of the part. <laughs> the Barry State's consolidating power, not attacking the Maltese. Bizarrely. Because historically, the Maltese should be all over them. I want to see what the Genoans do. Do they land to take Venice? They land and hit the Austrians. I don't know who they're at war with, so I couldn't, I couldn't claim to know. But we'll soon find out. The Austrians are... See, if, I was, if, if Austria declared on me and started landing in the Americas, that would... That would cause a lot of trouble. In a way, it's lucky they've declared on the Prussians, because it gives the Prussians gives us someone to worry about right on their doorstep. Aha! Of course. Do I call my... Yeah, let's call my allies. The British don't help me now. They refuse to join my side. Now this is the sort of action that I now gear my continent to fight against. At least it's the Windward Islands and it's not Portugal. Because Portugal is completely empty right now. See now, is this the point where I ask peace for Prussia and start giving them money to fight the Austrians? Possibly. May as well. It would force all those armies they've got to deploy into the country. Because maybe right now they're reluctant to move them. Because maybe I'm on the verge of, I don't know, doing something. Because <laughs> they're really keeping an eye on me. So is that an army that's just come out of Moscow? If it has, I can do the old zerp and flirt run right round them. Ah, so they're coming up to raid my lands to the north. More than happy for them to do so. There is a port in this region. Trade agreement has been developed for Albany. Select you are going to do a trade port because you have goods to sell. Good, I've already sunk a whole lot of money into this area. Let's replenish. Senor. Adelante. El marcha. Mi senor. Let's move you up to May Siege. You pull you back. Por la 
you go forward to siege, you get into a better position to be resupplied. You spend another turn moving north. Nation destroyed the Crimean Carnet. Mexico and Great Britain Alliance has been broken. The Russian Marathas have been broken. Oh, what a rotten bit of luck that is. Look at that. Spot on. Ooh, too bad these are just galleons. But you know what? They'll do. Hit Antigua. Maintain siege. And let's start recruiting of an Admiral's flagship. Two heavy firsts. Three first rate ships of the line. Three seconds and start getting. That's a, that's a, that's a second as well. Then let's get some thirds. Cool. Port blockaded in Providence. Fine. War declared between Sweden and Russia. Interesting. So who's, who's at Finland now? Because they moved a stack away. The chances, the possibilities. Let's go hit Coca-Cola. Then go hit Passa. They'll soon be in a good position to ferry over some troops to support them. Let's do some upgrades. Okay, diplomacy, Prussia. Quest peace. And we will offer you let's say twenty grand. Grand to fight my enemies for me on land. Seems perfect to me. That, look at all these troops are just freed up for you to actually do something weird, do something useful. I think it would be wise though to also start preparing an army in Copenhagen to get ready to defend this region because right now it's just no, it's not just the river I have to defend. But let's start. Get some heavy horse artillery, some 12 pounders, and unit of grenadiers. Get the ball rolling. Lots of recruitment. Lots of good stuff. That's my bodyguard. No, oh, that's my new general's army, sorry. You can wait there for now, I suppose. So, can I run you around? Oh, you. Ah, oh, okay. So they would get these armies in reinforcement. That's okay. But looking at the timer, we're definitely at the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the assault of Moscow by the Mexican army, of all people. Thanks, guys. See you later.